in this video we will take a quick recap of the chapter force and laws of motion so in this video you have already done the two major topic first is define force and what are the newton's law of motion so what is force here force is product of mass into acceleration and we know that what is the unit of mass mass unit is kg acceleration is meter per second square so when mass of 1 kg is there and acceleration of 1 meter per second square is applied then force is said to be 1 newton further force can be divided into two major category one is the balanced force and the unbalanced force balanced force when there is no displacement or we can say the resultant force is zero so when we push anything or pull anything and if it does not move then we can say resultant force is zero but when we push something by a greater force and it starts moving then we call it as an unbalanced force we can say in that case resultant force is greater than zero now the next topic is the newton's laws of motion so there are three newton laws of motion newton first law second law and third law now first law of motion is we can say based on inertia or we can say a mass and inertia is the tendency to resist change now what do you mean by tendency to resist change meaning when a object is at rest will remain at rest when object in in motion will try to remain in motion it resists the change change in its we can say motion change in its position of rest are the inertia of rest inertia of motion and how inertia is measured it is measured with the mass so mass is a measurement of inertia greater will be the mass greater will be the inertia we will discuss its example later on now the next is newton's second law of motion it is given the term momentum momentum is product of mass into velocity now mass having unit kg velocity having unit meter per second so momentum represented by p its unit will be kg meter per second so this is given by the newton's second law of motion that momentum is in term which depends upon mass and the velocity now next is the newton third law of motion which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and the second point given by this law is the law of conservation of momentum which states that total momentum of system remain constant it is case of a collision or a recoil of a gun which we will discuss later that law of conservation of momentum states that total momentum of the system will remain constant so this is the complete concept mind map of the chapter force and laws of motion we will discuss each and every topic in detail in our next video